Hi everyone. So today is not today. Um, I just sat down to start editing this video. Hi Lumi. And I uh, had something hanging from my nose and I felt like as much as girls gotta be real all the time, no one needs to see my bogey hanging out my nose. <laughs> I was like watching it, I was like, oh my god Lydia, wipe your nose! <laughs> I don't even know how it got there. <laughs> so I thought that I would just quickly refilm this. My eyes are watering, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> but yeah, so today's video is kind of a wedding prep video. I'm really enjoying doing this stuff and um, trying on dresses with you has been so much fun. Obviously I did like a wedding update video like months ago now and I was like, oh I'm really lucky that I've got someone to um, like make my dress that I designed and um, I kept trying to like sit down and design a dress and I was like hold on a minute I've never actually tried on a wedding dress so how on earth am I going to design one if I don't know what suits me so I decided that I wanted to go and try on some dresses I, was, I really wanted to do come shopping with me dress, wedding dress videos so um, whether or not I was getting a dress made or not I was still gonna do this but then I started trying on dresses and I I the one dress at the moment that I like really like is, is I, I tried it on as a joke I was like oh I've got to do like I've, I've got to try it on and I was like shit I really like this dress and it made me realize that actually it was gonna be a lot harder than I initially thought it was gonna to be to design and have a dress made. So at the moment, I I don't have a dress, but um, I have some options, one of which I love, and I really love, and like the moment that I put it on, I, I still have the video because I filmed it. Um, I, I keep watching that video back and looking at my face and looking at how much I loved it, but it was a dress that I tried on as a joke. So I'm coming to terms with the loss of what I always thought I wanted my wedding dress to be. Am I boring you, Lumi? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, so I, um, I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I still feel quite in the dark, but I have tried on three dresses that I absolutely love and now it's just kind of deciding whether that's the route that I'm going to take or whether I am going to design something. I've had so many girls say that oh I found like the dress that I wanted it was like the first one that I tried on and then I didn't go and try on any more and they regret it so I was like I want to go and try on as many wedding dresses as I possibly can and I have another wedding dress appointment just it's one more I'm not going to do any more than one more because otherwise I am going to end up with a conga of dresses and I'm not going to be able to choose and I'll probably just wear my knickers on my wedding day. <laughs> but there's a couple of people that watch my videos that like I, I don't know whether they want me to be like a they want me to be a liar and they really really want me to be a horrible person and um, I'm, I'm so sorry to disappoint you guys but l lies are really difficult to keep up <laughs> this is something that Ali and I share a mutual understanding of it's bloody tiring keeping lies up like once you lie, then you forget what you lied about and then you, everything falls apart and then everyone's upset because you lied. And it's like, we don't actually lie in our household. <laughs> we don't. It's, um, we just kind of say how it is and do our lives and we just share it. And um, so I would just really like it there to be a little bit more of like, oh, okay, maybe she changed her mind rather than, oh my God, Lydia, you are a liar. Sorry, Lumi, that probably woke you up. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. I just wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page, that I haven't made a decision yet. I might wear a bin bag to my wedding if I bloody well want to. Enough about that. This video is so much fun. I got to take my stepmom, my sister-in-law, and my maid of honor, Carrie, to Suzanne Neville in, it's just in Knightsbridge. I think it's like just near Harrods. I wanna do it all again, and I'm actually gutted that I've only got one more appointment left, but anyway. I rambled on for eight minutes. <laughs> but at least I don't have a bogey in my nose whilst I'm doing it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you at the end. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing today for meetings and wedding dress trying on. This is my Victoria Beckham drop waist dress that I got from Stylebop and I've teamed it with my Louis Vuitton bag and my new Louis Vuitton boots as well. I feel like it toughens this up a little bit. Whereas this is still quite structured, it's got the sort of feminine frills and just looks really nice paired with this bag. So yeah, I really like this outfit. Probably gonna be cold, but you know, hopefully it'll get sunny later on. Wishful thinking, wishful thinking. Another thing about this dress that I absolutely love, 
it's got pockets. Oh my God, when a dress has pockets, it just makes me so happy. Yay. Um, so we've just got to Knightsbridge. My stepmom is running a little bit late, so she's gonna meet us at the store. I've got Carrie with me, and this is my sister-in-law, Lucy, and she's gonna feel very awkward on my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people are on it for the first time, because they're like, hi. <laughs> what do I do with <laughs> But we're just walking to Suzanne Neville now, so I think my stepmom's gonna get a taxi there, and we will see her there. I really need a wee though, so, uh, I hope they've got a toilet. <laughs> in you go. Um, <laughs> it's nice to it's it. On the dress, isn't yeah. it? It's like really great actually for yeah. that kind of stuff. So we've arrived and it is absolutely incredible and I love the fact that it's kind of like the dresses are completely different to anything else that we've tried on before. These are all quite like classic but then they're quite couture as well so I think I'm going to have so much fun and there's another floor downstairs exactly the same as this so I'm, oh my god I'm so excited but I think my stepmom's just got here so we can start the trying on. I think I'm going to be here a while. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <gasps> Sorry guys. I know I've just stopped on the stairs. <laughs> There's a blue one. Your mum would like that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the most fun ever. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh my god, you look amazing. Sorry. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. I love the skirt. Yeah, the skirt. It's so nice. It's quite unusual. Yeah. Mm. It looks like I'm going to run down a catwalk. Yeah. Like that's what it looks it's like. It's like yeah. a proper catwalk. It's like the runaway bride dress. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I think that's There's what. There's a lot of skirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, this is lovely. So nice. It's not the one, though, is it? No, 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 I don't think so, but good fun. Yeah, definitely fun. Oh, you look like a proper bride. Do I? Oh, wow. That's really good. That's <laughs> stunning, Lid. Wow, yeah, this is nice, isn't it? Wow. And look at how that falls. It's really nice, isn't it? I love the colour of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, it's Shades sort of champagne type. Yeah, really it's, it's the way it falls it from the fishtail is yeah. beautiful. Do you like the front of it, Carrie? I, yeah. Right, <laughs> let's just clarify, Carrie also likes the front of dresses. <laughs> I just have an obsession with the backs. <laughs> this is really nice. And this is the, the, the shape that I thought that I wanted all along, like this kind of fishtail shape. Because I'm always like, I'm only this young and skinny for so long, so. Show it off. Show it. <laughs> and it doesn't cover like this bit, because I don't like it when yeah. that bit's covered. Show off those guns. <laughs> yeah. this is See, Tara likes bags as well. Thank yeah. you, Tara. <laughs> I love bags. Yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah, see, that is beautiful. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. I love this oh, wow. one. I love reactions like that. Oh, that's really elegant. That's super elegant. That's really, yeah. Okay, that surprised me. Yeah, I thought that here. I thought that was going to be too simple, but it's not. It's Can I see you the back? Really get the idea. Still, like this bit is the bit that... Oh, that's beautiful. It's really nice, isn't it? And it covers all the bits that we actually thought you wanted out. Yeah, the only thing I'm not sure about is the one part of me that is funny because it's right by my arms. I hate this bit here. But we can always bring that out. So oh, right, like bring it kind of like lower. Oh, absolutely, yeah, that's fine. Because I, I always feel like I'm like a little bit soft here. <laughs> <laughs> I think every, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we can just bring that a little bit higher, so yeah. that's fine, yeah. This is really nice. It has pockets as well, as well. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look that, how happy she is! Like standing in the altar with your hands in the, in, in the pockets. Just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I have a thing about dresses with pockets. 
I would be that mean. Like, yeah. <laughs> so happy. This is really, really that nice. That does look really yeah. lovely. And that's a totally different with the other one. Though. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Oh, it's another full bride. Uh, I love the neck. Yeah, even yeah. I feel like, wow. That's cool. She said, wow. I just, oh my goodness. That's very bright. That's girls. gorgeous, Lid. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh my, god. Oh, oh my god, yes. Wow. Oh no, the same here. I didn't think I'd like this one either. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Awesome. That could potentially be That's a new nice favourite. Um, well, it was, no, no, it's it nice. It's nice there, but maybe just. Mm. I love this one. I love the front. Yeah, <laughs> I love the front of this one. <laughs> And the back holds. Yeah, the back. So you've got the buttons again. Yeah. Beautiful. I love the fabric. Uh, yes, yeah, it's going to be a really swooshy, pretty, as you walk, it'll swish nicely, won't it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I feel like we just need to get like a bodysuit with a few more pounds on it somewhere that we can just, so that you don't have to look so amazing in everything. <laughs> it is so delicate. Is it too delicate for the venue that I've Got. What do you feel better in? I feel lovely in this, like I do. I can't say that I don't. It feels so, so nice and it it's, fits so nicely and I love the lace sleeves, slightly like longer like that. I love the way the neckline doesn't, you've still got this bit. Yeah. But you're still covered. Yeah, it's like shows that bit there but it's not too much. And you can't see that mesh at all. No, no. no it's, it's amazing, it's, isn't it's it? Really it's amazing. It is. You literally can't. But you see can, it. I can see her necklace is underneath it, and you can't tell. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it goes up there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all like mesh. Oh, yeah, it's completely covered. It's not going to. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Genius. <laughs> There'll be no boob foliage. No. Exactly. No. Yeah. That's the. No one wants boob foliage on a wedding day. <laughs> yeah. It's so stunning. Love the neck on that. For goodness' sake, Lydia! <laughs> it's lovely. It's beautiful. Again, really lovely. Just stunning dresses. Don't know how you come up. Very, <laughs> very talented <laughs> lady, aren't you? <laughs> and seeing them on today, looking this amazing as well. It's <laughs> lovely. I love this. I love, yeah, the 3D kind yeah. of, it gives lovely shadows on it as it's well. It's lovely. And the way it just falls at the bottom is beautiful. Mm. Really nice. So nice, this is just so cute. <laughs> it's, it just looks so intricate. So I remember your wedding dresses were always what I had in my mind when I thought of wedding dresses. I always thought like just a, a sheet of fabric that just like falls. In all the right places. Yeah. It falls, it just like, it just looks like it, you, someone's just thrown it on and it just Perfect. looks amazing. Yeah, yes. it's uh, that's the one I always was like, that's why I thought that something simple like a sheet like this, but then with the venue I kind of have to stay away from that. Mm -hmm. So we've come to the most understated cafe in the world. It's like marble and gold and like all of this velvet. It's very, very nice here. We're drinking Voss water out of a goblet. I think this is, this is like wedding inspo. <laughs> Gonna have everyone drinking out of goblets. Guys, I have just found my cafe. <gasps> the Waffle Cafe. <laughs> Carrie, should we go in there and have a waffle? A waffle? <laughs> we can follow the waffle. <laughs> oh, all the damp in the air has made my hair go straight. I had such lovely waves this morning and now it's like, just got a kink in it. So annoying. But we finished off 
meeting number one, even though we had wedding dress stuff this morning. We've got meeting number two now, and I'm really excited for this one, actually. I think this will be um, a very exciting, but I actually, I can't say anything about this. I am that one person that's like, I've got something exciting, but I can't tell you about it. Um, but no, the day's been good so far, and the weather's not that great, but it is what it is. I was just telling Carrie that I bought my first pair of Louboutins from that store right there. It's actually my first pair of designer shoes. Fun fact. So we're currently having dinner at Frenchie's and this is a bacon scone. And this is clotted cream, I think. Yeah, it is. It is. So this is going to be a first. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> Wedding diet. I definitely went for the gnocchi. If I don't fit in my dress. Like nature and consumer. Morning. Um, oh. <laughs> um, it's 6.55 and we're up. We're on our way to the gym. Well, I don't think I'm up, actually. I think I'm still in bed. Um, but we are on the wedding prep before going to do wedding stuff today. Um, just a bit much for my head right now. It's very early. It's very early. <laughs> Say hi, Matty. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Showing the guns. Big push. Big push. Sorry, I'm in the way. And push. You got that. Go on, Liz, you can, you can, you can. Go on, chicken. Think of the wedding dress. Think of the dress. Do not zoom in on my face. <laughs> This is what I'm wearing today. I've finally woken up, but barely. Um, I've got my caramelin white pleated dress on, which I think is still in stock. Why is there a hair on my camera? Um, and then I've got my Louis Vuitton handbag and my Louis Vuitton boots as well. These I wore these all around London yesterday and they are so, so comfortable. So best purchase ever. Um, I'm going to go and get my iPhone fixed and then I'm actually going to have a look in Caramel and see if they've got any new stuff in there that, uh, that I like. I don't know how I broke my iPhone either. We were like using it in the gym and then I picked it up and it's, look, it looks like it's like the weirdest thing ever and the crack goes right across there as well. So I'm going to go and uh, get that fixed at the Apple in Milton Keynes and um, then come home and pack and then head to my wedding venue. I definitely did not need to break my phone today. Oh, it's taken like two hours. I still haven't got it back. I need to go home and pack. Otherwise, I'm not going to have enough time to pack for Norway tomorrow because we're being picked up. We're, we're going away with uh, Land Rover, Jaguar Land Rover tomorrow for the launch of the Vela. Like, not the... L How do I explain this? Like, we did the launch, but now they're being released. So we're going to go and test drive them in Norway, which is very exciting. But we have to go up there tonight so that we don't like so that we're not leaving at silly o'clock in the morning um so there's a lot to do <laughs> and i still don't have any kind of like outfit to wear or anything i did have a look around but i couldn't find anywhere um so i looked in karen mill and i didn't find anything so i'm gonna head home try and pack and then come back and hopefully pick up my phone i feel naked without my phone i feel massively massively naked so yeah i'm also very hungry very hungry
So I'm just getting packed for Norway and I really don't know what I'm gonna pack. So I've just kind of shoved a load of stuff in a suitcase because I'm gonna be test driving a car. I feel like I need some practical footwear, which is not something that I'm known for. Um, <laughs> so I picked up some new trainers, these Adidas. These are the Adidas um, Tubular Shadow, I think. But these are the black ones. I quite like the texture. Um, and then I did put some boots in as well, my um, Chelsea boots. And then if it is sunny, it's probably not, but just in case. And then I'll have these on my feet for the flight. And then a little Lumi, because Lumi has to come everywhere with us. Oh, yes, 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 that's my underwear, yes. Yes, 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 you little scratch puss. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do my toiletries now and um, just finish that off. Then I've got to go pick up my phone. Carrie's just gone to get some lunch, so we're gonna have some food as well. Um, and then it's off for my florist appointment at my venue, which I wish I could take you guys with me. I really do. I wish I could show you it, but I just can't. I can't show you it. I'm starting to feel tired after that 6.30 a.m. wake up call. Um, we're en route to my wedding venue at the moment. We're meeting my florists. I'm so excited to talk flowers. This is so exciting. And we're gonna sort of like discuss what we can do with the wedding venue and just all of the prettiness that we can possibly do whilst we're there, which I'm, I'm actually really excited to go back as well because you don't actually go to your, well, I haven't gone to my wedding venue a lot. I think I've been like twice. And then after this, it should be that this is the last time I go and then I'm getting married. <laughs> so exciting. This is gonna be so much fun. How tired do I look? <laughs> I'm trying to pick up a box and talk to you at the same time. I've had a delivery, so I thought that I would open it with you, but also quickly update you on oh, everything that happened at the wedding venue. Obviously, so, Ali is um, late. I'm sat here wondering why I've got one, two, three, four denim jackets. Because you like denim jackets? I don't like denim jackets that much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, I've just been speaking to Ali and kind of like updating him on, on the, the wedding venue because um, Ali loved planning the engagement, but he's kind of left all of the sort of design and stuff like that to me. So I was there today with the um, florist, Maison de Fleur, and they, oh my God, I forget why I chose them. And it was, I chose it because of the people. Obviously they're insanely talented at everything they touch, but the women that work there are amazing and so many different characters like oh, there's just so much fun and they've inspired me so much with the ideas for the venue and now i feel like i can see it all coming together and like the colors and how i see it all happening and what happens in every room and i'm just i feel so much more excited now and i i know that ali will love it i'm what I, I just I'm worrying about my dress but I think I don't know it's so difficult I feel like there's a lot of pressure because of all of the like fairy tale things that weddings have that you're gonna come out and you're gonna find the dress and you're gonna cry and everyone's gonna cry I feel like there's a lot of pressure around that and actually it doesn't really happen well it might happen to some people it it's not really happened to me because I, I don't know, it's just, I don't, I don't know why it hasn't happened, but I think that it mainly comes down to the fact that I have so many different sides to my style, so there are so many different dresses that I like, and there's just so many things to factor in, like the venue and the theme and all of this stuff, so one of the dresses I read, and everyone seems to love the same dress, so yeah, but I thought that I would open this box with you because there's some new items from Louise Villaroma that I ordered. It is literally, I think, the first item I have bought for my autumn winter wardrobe. But when I saw this, it was too perfect not to get. So yeah, let's just open it before I ramble on for another, before I waffle on for a few more minutes. Okay, I feel like I'm like, eh, <laughs> trying to get in the picture. Okay, so into the box. The first, oh wow, this is so soft. The first item is a jumper. 
gosh, these tags just get bigger and bigger from Luisa Via Roma. So this is a jumper from Hermano Cervino. And it's like a soft kind of oversized jumper with a lace trim at the bottom. So I thought that this would look so cute with like knee high boots and stuff like that. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, it's so soft and I love a grey jumper and actually I think I might take this to Norway with me just in case because it um, they say that it might be cold um, when we're out there. So I'm so sorry that my house is such a mess in the background, that's Ali leaving his, literally everything in this living room is Ali, it's left everywhere. We've got a new drone, so now we have two drones. We've got two drones. Yeah. So this is the first item, it's both from the same brand actually. And then the second one, oh my goodness, I could not resist this. So I managed to kick Ali out of the living room. Um, so this dress is even better than I thought it was gonna be. This is also from Hermano Cervino. Um, and it's like cream, but I thought this was gonna be cut like a little bit satiny, but it's not. It is like a woolen dress but with lace as well so this is perfect i can imagine this with like tights as well and knee-high boots but yeah it'll be warm and it's so delicate around the neckline i feel like i have to throw these on quickly and show you i feel like i can't not show you this stuff on because it's so much better on okay i think that's what i'm gonna do um i got this one in a size this was only one size, so you, you could only get one size in it. So I would have probably got it even bigger if I could have done, but it was just one size. And then this one I think I got in a 38, which works out about a six, I think, in Italy, in Italian sizes. Um, and I will have popped links to them down below, but I'm starting to like curate my autumn wardrobe a little bit, because that's all that's available in the shop. So hence why I got the Louis Vuitton boots in the last video. And um, yeah, I thought that it would be good to show you these two items as well, because they're quite autumnal, just for like the transition. I know that we're in July, <laughs> so we've got a while to go, but it's the way the seasons work. We get our autumn wardrobe like now so yeah i'm starting to pick that stuff up i'm going to show you it all show you it on quickly so i definitely think this is a little bit too short for a jumper dress but this would look incredible with some leather trousers and some really sort of pointy black leather boots when you get that like infinite look um but yeah a little bit too short for a jumper dress but i still absolutely love it and this will definitely get the wear that i want especially in autumn with like um a big black coat or um, some black leather trousers, it'll look great. So yeah, really happy with both of them. And they'll be linked down below if any of you like them, but I think that dress was the winner. Yep, so this one is even more amazing than I thought it was. This is so, so nice. It looks so nice with my new boots. It looks great with the bag and it's so warm. But yet yeah, so delicate. This is one of my favourite items at the moment. It's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. You know when you order something, you're like, is this going to work? And it works perfectly. This is what I, I might wear to the Range Rover Awards. Because the uh, ceremony is casual chic. And I feel like this is a little bit of a touch of evening, but still quite casual. Oh my god, I love this so much. You need this in your wardrobe. This is incredible. I love it and it's so forgiving as well. I need to wear nude pants though because considering this is like a thick dress, it's still quite a little tiny bit see-through. I am in love with this. Absolutely in love with this. So those are a few items that I bought recently and I'm very, very happy with them actually. Sometimes when I shop online for clothing, I'm like, what am I gonna get? But really, really happy with them. So yeah, I'm gonna actually have to leave the video here though because our car is waiting outside to take us to our next destination. So I will be seeing you in my next vlog where we are heading to Norway with Jaguar Land Rover, which is really exciting. So definitely, definitely go and watch that video because, uh, well, I'll link it down below if I can. Oh no, it won't be up yet. What are you talking about, Lydia? You haven't done it yet. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will, um, I'm quite tired, so it's probably why I can't think. I'm hoping to have a snooze in the back of this car, but I will see you in my next video. Sorry for the rambling at the end. I really hope you liked it. Let me know which one of the wedding dresses was your favorite and, um, yeah, bye guys.